Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, we covered the basics of CI and CD. And we also uh, created a free account in Circle CI and also created a free account in Docker Hub. So when you log into Docker Hub, you'll be seeing this welcome to Docker. And you can, you can download the Docker desktop application. So for me, it's Mac for so showing either Mac with Intel or Mac with Apple chip. And for Windows and Linux, you have the Docker for desktop application. So I would recommend you guys to download uh, the Docker for desktop application for your respective operating system and get it installed and just open it once on your machine and just log in with your credentials that you have created the account with. And once you're done with that, uh, let's go over uh, how to export uh, for each of the uh, for each of the projects that we have over here. So we have like four projects. One is like uh, auth server, the the gateway server, the game server, and then we also have the client, right? So all the uh, three servers that we have, authway, uh, auth, gateway, and server. So all of these three, we need to just export it for Linux, but the client will have to export it for each of the platforms that we want to support. So it may be uh, Mac, Windows, Linux, uh, Android, and iOS, right? So in order to do that, uh, you can just open up each of the projects and you can go to the editor and click on manage export templates and download and install the, the latest editor templates that you have. And once you're done with that, all you have to do is just go to the export and just add each of the exports that you want to support, right? For now, let's just focus on Mac, uh, Windows 64, Linux 64, Windows 32 and Linux 32, okay? Uh, we'll cover the mobile platforms later. For now, just focus on the desktop platforms. So for Windows 64 and Linux 64, you just have to check, check mark this uh, the 64 bits uh, checkbox uh, for both of them. And for Linux and Windows 32, you can leave them blank. And once you're done with this, it will actually create a exports presets.cfg file. Uh, so if I go over here, you can see the export presets.cfg and make sure you also export for Linux uh, 64 for both um, the gateway, the server, and then the, the auth client as well, right? And once you go to this export CFG, this is all something it'll look like. And this is actually supposed to be uh, not committed as part of your repo. Uh, this is supposed to be a secret file. Uh, the reason is being, if you look at the Android export, you can see that it's asking for debug user and debug password. Eventually, we'll have it, it'll, we'll be having a release key and a release username and a release password, right? And that will be saved as a plain text in this file. And that is not something that we are supposed to expose. And hence the reason we are supposed to make maintain this uh, export CFG files uh, private. Now, how do we do that uh, if you're not going to commit it in the repo? So all we are going to do is we are not going to commit the actual CFG file. So it will be, as you can see here, this is uh, uh, not committed as part of the repo uh, the because it's uh, a, little, a little darker on the font right so which means that i have ignored it in my git get ignore uh, if you can see here the i have ignored the dot env file uh, as well as the export cfg file should be uh, it should be ignored as well cfg if i search for it yeah you can see the export cfg and then the export prefix cfg both of them are ignored now how do we do that so there is a open source tool called uh, uh, gnupg or it's called gnu privacy god so this is an open source uh, tool that is available in almost all the platforms. So all you need to do is just download this for uh, your respective platform. So for Mac, I, all I had to do was brew install GNUPG. And for Linux, you can just do apt install, I believe. And once you have the GNUPG, you should be having a to tool in your command prompt called GPG, right? So once you have the GPG tool, uh, what you can do is create two new make scripts. So I have already create the, created them over here. So one is to encrypt the CFG file and one is to decrypt them. Okay. So all I'm doing here is in the, during the encryption process, I am removing the, uh, the already existing GPG file, which if it is existing, uh, and then I'm also encrypting the actual, uh, export presets.cfg file. Okay, so the way this works is I, I just have to run this GPG with the passphrase. So this is where I'll be passing in my password. So you just have to create a .env file and uh, make sure you name it whatever you want to name it and make sure that they're, they're matching in both your make file and the env and then give just give your uh, 
password over here, whatever the password that you want to have. Uh, just make it super long so that it's uh, very difficult to decrypt. And uh, you just have to pass these options, batch, output. So this is the output file that we are creating, which we are removing uh, before we create them, right? Just to make sure if it is already existing, it'll just remove them and then it'll recreate it. So this is the export file that we are going to export. So in each of the folders, for uh, all the four folders, we have a client, server, auth, and gateway. And this is the, the source file that we want to encrypt, okay? So uh, inside the client folder, we have the export prefix CFG and we have them in each of the folders. So all we are doing is just we are creating a GPG version of it, which is an encrypted version. And similarly in the decrypt CFG, all we are going to do is just pass in the same password again. So this will be typically using in the CI where we'll be passing this encrypt uh, password separately via uh, environment variables in the, uh, in the circle CI. Uh, so that will be a, a more secure approach, right? So we'll be having the encrypted password in our local and then we'll be passing that password uh, as a secret en environment variable in the circle CI, okay? And so what we're doing here is we're again batching uh, uh, so S week because I think it'll it'll not uh, uh, output I believe uh, not sure uh, so we just mentioning the output file over here and uh, so we are just making sure that we are exporting it to the same path that we imported uh, or we converted it from right so it, we just we are just making sure we are replacing the same file in the uh, in the same path in the um, CA as well so in the CA the file will not be present because we have not added as added it as part of the uh, the repo. So this file will not be existing in CI. So this file will be created from the GPG file that we have created as part of the encrypted uh, CFG. So all we'll be doing is we'll just be uh, committing the encrypted version of it. And in the circle CI, we'll be decrypting it and then we'll be uh, creating the CFG file again from it, right? So it's super simple. So all uh, all we need is just to create these two uh, make scripts and then we are good to go. I uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, in the next video, we'll be uh, covering the actual uh, writing of the config.yaml file and I'll be going over uh, how to set it up and how uh, the config.yaml file should look like in a circle.ci environment, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video.